Hello everyone. Happy full moon in Capricorn, lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Woo. Oh my goodness. How's everyone doing? Um gonna wait for a few people to come on. Let me see if I can tag some people. I know a lot of people are probably at work, but I'm just going to tag people anyway. And um, whoever can watch, can watch. And you can always watch later. I'm going to pull cards for each sign. I don't know, I'm just tagging everyone that's showing up in this thing, I don't know. Sorry if you don't want to be tagged, I don't know how it works really. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to start. So we have this full moon in Capricorn. Um, a lot of times with a full moon in Capricorn, um our responsibilities are highlighted and um, we actually are drawn towards our responsibilities a little bit. Um, with this eclipse, uh, lunar eclipses are very revealing. And this is the last lunar eclipse of 2019. So it's a big release. This is a big release and the end of a big chapter. So we're going to take a look at what house is being activated. I recommend you listen for your rising sign as well as your sun sign. Because that's going to be a more accurate picture about what house is getting activated for you. Um, uh, maybe someday I'll explain how... Hi, Susan. Hi, Fallon. Maybe um, at some point I'll explain how astrologers do horoscopes. Um, but the way it's done, if you read for your rising sign for these um, types of horoscopes, you're going to get a bigger picture of what's happening for you. Hey, oh, two of my favorites. Um, so I'm going to start with Cancer, since the sun's in Cancer, and then we'll just go through the signs. Um, I haven't really thought about it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull two cards, um, what is being revealed and what is being released, and then I'm going to pull one card from my little self-designed yes-no maybe deck. Um, so if you have a yes-no type of question... You can think about it, and I'm going to pull one of these, and so you'll get a little a uh, little extra guidance on that. Hi, Stephanie. So starting with Cancer, Cancer Rising, Cancer Moon. What are we releasing, and what is being revealed? My birthday month, my birthday week. It's my last year in my thirties. So I'm definitely closing a chapter. <laughs> Not mad at it. Excuse me. That's interesting. I don't even know how to interpret that. I don't know. That kind of fits with um, everything right now. <laughs> so for Cancer, Cancer Rising, Cancer Moon, what is being released? King of Pentacles. Uh, perhaps this is about releasing the need to be on top of everything, um, especially mm -hmm. earthly matters. Or releasing fear that we can't be on top of all of it. One of those. 
And what is being revealed? The lovers. Um, sometimes this can be about um, a soulmate or energy, but a lot of times it's about a choice. It's about harmony. It's about coming into harmony and balance. It's about the merging of two seemingly opposite energies. Um, so that's interesting. Something about harmony, something about bringing things into balance, something about merging things that you thought you couldn't merge, uh, something about a decision that you make with your heart being revealed. So that's interesting. Yes, no, maybe question. So think of your question, cancers, if there are any other cancers in the group. And we got a yes with the energy of Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords energy is clarity, clearing the fog, a new beginning, especially in a way of thinking. So you got a yes. Okay. Moving on to Leo, Leo rising and Leo moon. Hi, Katrina. I just finished Cancer, so Virgo is coming soon. Leo, Leo rising, and Leo moon. What are we releasing and what is being revealed? Oh, I forgot to mention for Cancers, by the way, this moon and lunar eclipse is hitting your seventh house of relationships, marriage, partnership. So that's where things are being highlighted for you. For Leo and Leo rising, um, we are doing this eclipse is lighting up the sixth house. Um, sixth house is sickness and health and service. So that's what's being activated for you. What needs to be released as far as... Um, how you're taking care of your health and um, how you are, you're the work you're doing, especially um, service type of work, service to the community. So, um, seeing what, how things are doing in that house. In that area of life and what needs to be released so that you can grow in that area. Alright, what is being released and what is, oh my goodness, and what is being revealed. Alright, so Leo, Leo rising, what is being uh, released. Hi, Carrie. What is being released is the chariot reversed. So, um, I think releasing feeling stuck, feeling like things are not moving forward and also releasing feeling unable to pick which way to go. When this is reversed, um, things aren't moving. You're feeling blocked. And if you're at a crossroads, you're feeling unable to pick a direction. If you look right side up, you know, it's sort of like she can go either way. The road is open, you know. So we're releasing that and able to move forward after this moon. <laughs> what is being revealed is kind of funny. You got the moon. So what is being revealed? How you really feel. How you really feel. And with that sixth house, how you really feel about um, where you're at with your health. How you really feel about how you show up in the community. How you really feel about your work. 
So the moon often um, reveals what's hidden and it helps us face ourselves. See how the cat is looking at its reflection and it's actually a big old panther on the inside. So that's pretty cool. All right, Leo, Leo rising, Leo moon. Think of your yes, no question. And the yes flew out, ace of wands. I don't know if you can see, it's not focusing, but I don't know. I see people on YouTube videos do this to focus it. And that didn't work. Anyway, yes, ace of wands to your yes, no question. Um, so yes, and a new beginning. The aces are always a new beginning. And the ace of wands, a new creative beginning. Um, having that fire lit. So that's good. That's great. All right, moving on to Virgo and Virgo rising. Hi, Sarah. Virgo and Virgo rising. What are you releasing? And what is being revealed for Virgo? Let me just check. Um, for Virgo, Virgo rising, Virgo moon, your fifth house is being lit up. The fifth house is your house of creativity and self-expression. How you express yourself, how you express yourself creatively, um, your creative outlet. So... Or if you if you're feeling blocked in any way, this moon is a great time for a release in that way. What stokes your creative fire? So we're pulling cards for what are we releasing and what are we, what is being revealed? All right, so that's interesting. Virgo and Virgo rising. We're releasing the five of pentacles. We're releasing a challenging time with all things pentacles. That is work, health, money, um, home life. So we're releasing challenges in this area. And with the fifth house, um, you're also, you know, this is, we're releasing, um, feeling blocked and feeling like we don't have room to grow or move. What is being revealed? Six of Pentacles. So, um, what is being revealed? How to come into harmony when it comes to all things pentacles. And that's interesting because um, with the fifth house of creativity being lit up, I see this as like finding a way to like actually physically express yourself and, um, and get your creativity out in a physical way. And it's also about the six of coins is about coming back into balance. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Caitlin. Okay, Caitlin, I will try to put timestamps for each sign in the comments. Um, so this is about showing you this moon is about showing you the way to like actually bring your creativity out in a physical way. Um, actually finding a way to express yourself in a way that feels concrete and good to you and coming back into balance. And if it has been a challenging time financially or at work or any of those things, this is this moon is helping bring things back into balance. So if things feel kind of kooky right now, it looks like it's going to be coming back into balance again soon. All right. 
Virgo, Virgo rising, Virgo moon, please think of your yes, no question, and I will pull a yes, no, maybe card for you. Wow, okay, we got a yes with the star. Energy of the star. The star is an energy of hope, of light, after a time of darkness, of reminding us to look forward and look to the future because it is bright even if things seem dark right now so that's a big yes all right we are now moving on to libra and libra rising and libra moon for this full moon lunar eclipse is happening this afternoon very soon <laughs> I think in a couple hours so um, we are pulling one card for what are we releasing with this full moon and we're pulling one card for what is being revealed with this eclipse and then at the end we are going to pull a yes no maybe card so if you have a question like a yes no type of question you can have in your head sorry my hair is crazy i just whatever i just woke up and did not have not done anything yet <laughs> this is what i'm doing <laughs> so libra libra rising libra moon this moon is lighting up your fourth house just checking the chart as I go on sitting on my lap. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm looking down, I'm just seeing where the moon is for everyone. So the fourth house, which is home life, home environment, family. Sometimes it's about the parent at uh, one of your parents. So this full moon and lunar eclipse big release in the home environment family wow cool libra my moon is in libra so paying attention to myself here <laughs> okay that's so interesting. So Libra, Libra rising. Um, what are you releasing with this moon? I got the nine of cups. So, you know, I almost see this as like, this is a really good moon for you to just release your wishes into the universe. Like let, let the universe know what you really want, what you really dream of. This is a powerful moon for you. That's awesome. I mean, that's... I. Releasing the Nine of Cups is almost like release your wishes out. Put your wishes out. The Nine of Cups is like your dreams can come true now. So that's really cool. And what is being revealed? I got the Wheel of Fortune. So... Hello, Libra. Things are changing. Things are shifting. You are closing a chapter with this eclipse, um, especially in the realm of your home, of your home environment, of your family life. Um, there's a chapter closing here and things are turning around and for the better. So that's really nice. Um, okay, Libra, Libra rising and Libra moon, think of your yes, no question. And we are going to get a yes, no, maybe answer for you. So just think of a question that can be answered with a yes, a no, or a maybe. All right. <laughs> the aces are coming out today. We've already had the ace of swords and ace of wands. Yeses. We now have a yes with the energy of ace of cups. So yes, with the energy of ace of cups, the energy of a new emotional beginning, new love. Um, yeah. 
that's a pretty good yes. All right, we are moving on to Scorpio and Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon. This full moon is lighting up and the eclipse. They are lighting up your third house. Third house rules communication, writing, short trips, thought processes. It's a pretty big house. Uh, Mercury is retrograde still, so that house is um, in review, so to speak, for all of us. We are all kind of reviewing how we communicate, how we show up in the realm of um, communicating our thoughts and ideas. If you're a writer... This house is a big one for you. All right, Scorpios. I think we have at least a few Scorpios. Jamie is a Scorpio. And Aaron is a Scorpio. Jamie. Thinking about Jamie. All right, so we're pulling one card for what are we releasing with this moon and one card for what is being revealed with this eclipse and then we will pull a yes no oh i like that ah one card please <sighs> well that's the one that called out to me all right Scorpio, Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. What are we releasing? We're releasing the four of pentacles. So releasing fear around money and fear around taking risks and being afraid of losing everything you've worked so hard for. The Four of Coins is <clears throat> kind of, you have laid down really solid foundations um, somewhere in the realm of pentacles. So with your health, with um, your finances, with the work that you've been doing, whatever kind of work that is, it doesn't have to be like your typical career stuff. Um, and... And the message here is, you, as you can see, the guy's kind of sitting on his chest of treasure. And um, the message here is to not get too caught up in being worried about what you might lose. Um, it's okay. You've set down solid foundations and it's going to be okay. You can take a little bit of a risk. What is being revealed with this um, eclipse? I got the Ten of Pentacles. So in a way, this is showing you a way. And with it being in the third house, through your communication, through your writing, through, um, through actually even your short trips and travels, um... It's showing you how to get to this stable and complete phase in your work, in your health, in your home life. So that's a pretty big reveal for this eclipse. So pay attention. Keep your eyes and ears open and... With the third house, you know, like there's something there with the the communications, talking to people um, is part of this reveal of how you can get to this stable and beautiful place. So this is a big eclipse for you. All right, so we're going to do a yes, no, maybe. So if you have a yes, no, maybe question have that in mind and i'm just gonna give you a little let this card be a little guidance 
And we got a yes with the energy of the magician. Yes, and you have everything you need to create what you want to create. You have the tools. You have them. You can make it. You can do it. So that's pretty badass. Go ahead, Scorpios. You're going from here to here. I like it. From here to here. Go ahead, Scorpio. All right. I love you, Scorpios. I do. I have a soft spot for my Scorpios. All right. So we are now moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius rising. Just checking the chart. Looks like this moon and eclipse are lighting up your second house. Second house is what you have to work with on the physical plane. Material resources, physical resources, money. It's also about what you want, what you really deeply want, and what you value, what you place value on. So it's a big house, Sagittarius. Oh, I should tie Rachel. Where is she? How do I tie people again? No. How do I tie people? Oh, here we go. Rachel. Let me invite Rachel because she's a Sag. Okay. Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising. And Sagittarius moon. We are pulling one card for what are you releasing and one card for what is being revealed with this eclipse. Wow, okay, those two came out for that, so that's what it is. All right, Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising. Two cards for what you're releasing. By the way... Hi, Jesse. By the way, Sagittarius, this is hitting your second house, I think I told you. So apply that to what you're releasing, too. Um, this is a release in that house. So second house. Um, what you're releasing, the first card that fell out was the eight. I think that's the eight of swords. Feeling trapped. Um, feeling especially trapped in your own headspace. Uh, if you look, um, this card is always interesting because if you look, let me just try and zoom in a little bit. The ropes around her hands are actually loose and she's holding the end of the rope. So she can just let go and her hands will be free. And if you look like there's enough space between all those swords for her to just get up and walk through. So this card is partly about feeling trapped, but also having your own key to your freedom. Because this is the realm of swords. It's the realm of our own minds and our own thought processes. So... um. Also releasing the seven of wands, feeling like you have to be in a defensive position. Yes, you're overcoming challenges, but you're also like having to constantly like, you know, watch be in a defensive position. So releasing that. What is being revealed with this eclipse? Love it. Page of Cups. Our little artist is being released and being shown to you. And with this being in the realm of the second house, um, how your creativity can help boost your second house stuff, your resources, your money. Um, so I think that that's actually really cool. It's like how your creativity and your inner artist can help feed you, you know? <laughs> And um, the page of pages are always messengers. So some real info coming in on how your creativity can help propel you forward in that house. 
So I think that's really nice. Alright, I'm drinking my salsa. Alright, um, Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising and Sagittarius moon. Think of a yes, no, maybe question and let this card be your little guidance. I mean, don't let it be the end all be all, but <laughs> can be a little nudge in the right direction, okay? Yes, with the Wheel of Fortune energy. So yes, and yes, things are changing for the better. And yes, um, a chapter is closing and change is coming for the better. That's a nice yes. That's a big yes. All right. Moving on to Capricorn, Capricorn rising, and Capricorn moon. So, hi, Brenda. So, for Capricorns, my dears, this moon and eclipse are really hitting you because they are happening in your sign. So kind of a big one for you um it will be lighting up your first house the house of self um of your acting personality um it's kind of like your rising sign the first house it's like how you present yourself to the outside world your personality as it interacts with the world so this moon is all about you boo <laughs> it's all about you. So let's see. We are pulling one card for what are we releasing with the full moon and one card for what is this eclipse revealing. And then we will also pull a yes, no. If you have a question, you can think of it. All right. What are we releasing and what is being revealed? Capricorn, what is being released? The Hierophant. So, the Hierophant is often looking to traditional, um, traditional knowledge, to traditional rituals, traditional, um, it's kind of like going to your roots, right? Going to tradition. And a lot of times the Hierophant is, um, I don't know, kind of a, a It depends on how you look at it. But the way I'm seeing this in the release position and with this being your first house about yourself, I'm feeling like, you're releasing clinging to old ways of thinking, okay? Now, what is being revealed? I got the devil. The devil card is interesting. Um, so, revealing what ways are you restricting yourself? What ways are you holding back? Are there things that bring you pleasure that you feel ashamed of or that you feel it's wrong? Um, that's being revealed here. Like, what ways are you unnecessarily restricting yourself? What ways are you not comfortable with your shadow side? Um, so this is a big reveal, okay? This is, this can be an intense reveal because these are often the devil card is connected to what we feel shame about but that is actually just part of all of us we all have a light side and a dark side we all have um a murkier side you know and this is about understanding that part of ourself and coming to a balance with it 
where we're not restricting ourselves, where we are releasing ourselves from taboo, where we're releasing ourselves from shame. So this is a big one. I recommend upping the self-care because with that kind of a reveal in the first house, it really is all about yourself and your personality and how you interact with the world. So that can be a big reveal. And I got two no's just flew out for your yes, no questions. So when you have thought of your question, <laughs> I hope you had thought of it already, but um, I got two no's. Uh, the first one was the Ten of Wands, so that's the one we're going to go with. So Ten of Wands is about carrying too many burdens. What do you need to let go of? The other one that fell out was no with the Eight of Cups energy. So no and walking away from something... All right, Capricorn, that was kind of intense. I love you. <laughs> Hi, Jean. All right, we are on Aquarius, and I started with Cancer. So we're on Aquarius, Aquarius rising, Aquarius moon, and I will put timestamps in the comments. So Aquarius, 12th house is being lit up. Let me tag Aquilas. Hold on. He's probably working, so he probably can't watch. But just in case, <clears throat> just in case, I'll tag him. Aquarius, Aquarius rising, Aquarius moon. The 12th house is about um, everything under the surface, the unconscious, the subconscious. What is beneath the surface, mysteries. Um, just double checking what else. Yeah, so these are things that are sometimes revealed in our dreams, things that are beneath the surface. We're pulling cards for what are we releasing with this full moon and what is being revealed with this eclipse. Be sure to watch your rising sign to get more info on what house is actually being lit up for you. I don't even know. Twelfth house is um, it's very mysterious. It's very intense eclipse. <clears throat> you could go really deep within with this one. It's a good moon for meditation. All right, two cards came out for that, so we're just gonna read how it came out. Let me just get my salts out. I don't know my third chakra. <clears throat> I gotta work on it today. What are we releasing? <clears throat> We're releasing the world reverse. So releasing um feeling we can't move up to the next level. Releasing feeling stuck where we're at. There's something else coming through for that. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So I just asked for a little more information and I got Ace of Pentacles. So releasing, um, I think, definitely where I was going with that. Like releasing, feeling um, blocked almost like blocked on your bigger path, on your bigger journey. That Ace of Pentacles comes through to show you a new beginning, especially with, like, career and stuff. That's interesting, like, money, career, health. 
Um, what is being revealed? Six of Swords. So moving out of a challenging, especially mentally challenging place into a safer, more balanced place. Um, and then also the magician, what is being revealed is the magician. Uh, that is cool. Like, because that's showing you, okay, like I do actually have everything I need to make, um, to make what I really deeply, deeply want come true. And, you know, this eclipse is going to be a big reveal for you with that 12th house. It's like a reveal on a much deeper level than many of us are experiencing. You're, you're going really deep. You're digging up something that has been beneath the surface and in your subconscious for a long time. So, it's something that's going to show you, like, that you really have everything you need to make some magic. So that's pretty cool. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius rising. Aquarius moon. Going to pull a yes, no for you. So if you have a yes, no, maybe type of question, go ahead and think about it and let this be a little guidance. Man. Obviously, guidance with a grain of salt, but guidance. Oh, we got to know. No eight of swords. So no, and like it's somehow mentally limiting or traps you in some way mentally. So that's weird that we've gotten two no's now. I don't pull no's very much because this deck, I used the 70, I made this deck and like I used the 78 cards and I researched the energy behind each card of tarot uh, as a yes, no energy. So there are just a lot more yeses in the tarot deck than there are no's. And there are a few may quite a few maybes. So I don't pull nose that often. All right. We are moving on to Pisces and Pisces rising and Pisces moon. What are we releasing and what is being revealed with the eclipse? This house, I'm just checking the chart. 11th house for Pisces and Pisces rising and Pisces moon. 11th house is your house of goals and objectives. What else? Um, oh, and groups, like how um, group dynamics. So that's what's being lit up for you, this moon, Pisces. What is being released with the full moon and what is being revealed with the eclipse? Pisces, this is interesting. So, what is being released? We got the Three of Wands. So, the Three of Wands, you've built a really solid foundation spiritually, creatively in the fire realm. And I almost see this as like, okay, time to release some of your magic into the world with this moon. And um, keeping in mind the 11th house, like that three of wands is cool because it's kind of like you've 
gotten to this solid place where you're like, oh, I can do this. I can make stuff. I can make stuff happen. I can create. Um, I'm inspired. And the 11th house, like, this is really, like, getting clear on your goals and, and putting it out there. Um, so also releasing any self-doubt in that area. And what is being revealed? King of Wands. So how to advance and really be come this master of your creativity where you are this like worldly creative um I don't know just you can really take off from here especially creatively the wands is that's double wands so this is like a very inspirational moon for you, Pisces. All of the water signs are extra affected by the moon, I feel, too. So we're always kind of feeling that moon extra. So, all right, we're going to pull a yes, no, maybe. Wow, <laughs> another no. I'm weirded out by the no's. Um, Mercury, Mercury retrograde. I got another no with the energy of death. Um, so no and, um, it's no because it's the ending of something or it's the closing of a door. So there you have it. Also, a no and blocking transformation or blocking new growth. So, all right, moving on to Aries, Aries rising and Aries moon, 10th house lit up. So, your public life, career, how you deal with authority figures. <laughs> Aries are known for um, rebelling against authority figures. Like, don't try to tell an Aries what to do, okay? Don't do that. Oh. All right. Extra, don't do that. All right, Aries. What are you releasing with this full moon? And what is being revealed? Keeping in mind the 10th house. So... Public life, how you put yourself out there, career. Okay. Aries, Aries rising, Aries moon. What is being released? Empress reversed. So we're releasing not um not nurturing ourselves, um releasing not feeling able to um birth our ideas and bring our ideas to life, bring our anything to life. Um so we're releasing that phase of feeling um, upside down in the empress realm in the realm of like a, of self care abundance is what I would call it almost. So what is being revealed with this eclipse? The sun. So this eclipse is somehow revealing your way to happiness and it's a happiness that's like a lasting happiness um the sun is often associated with finding joy in the simple things finding joy in the present moment so that's really lovely aries i like that finding joy in your work too since you've got that, whoa, one card, please. 
since you've got that 10th house lit up. Finding joy in your career, finding joy in how you interact with the public. I think that's really nice. Okay, Aries, yes, no, maybe question if you think about it. And let this card be your little guidance towards that question. This is my yes, no, maybe deck that I made. Oh, I got my first maybe. That's a maybe. And it's the seven of pentacles. So a lot of choices. There are a lot of options with the seven of pentacles. So perhaps that maybe is hold off because this eclipse and full moon is a revealing time. So you might get more options that you don't know about yet. So hold off. That's a maybe. First maybe of the day. All right, moving on to Taurus, Taurus rising. <laughs> Jean. She got a ha. I got a ha from Jean. <laughs> Taurus, Taurus rising. And Taurus Moon. Let's see, where is your getting the ninth house? So um the ninth house is all about spirituality, religion, philosophy, your philosophy on life. It's kind of a deep house. Hi Lori. So we're on the last two signs, but I will put timestamps for each sign afterwards. Pulling for Taurus, Taurus rising, Taurus moon. This is lighting up your ninth house. So you're going deep with this moon. Um, this moon, you're releasing some perhaps uh, ways of thinking and philosophies that don't vibe with you anymore. And revealing the eclipse, revealing like something about your own philosophy and spirituality so that's cool can also just be like a nice contemplative moon actually so whoop, something flew out there okay we'll take it i guess um so we're playing one card for what are we releasing with the full moon and one card for what is being revealed with this eclipse. So lunar eclipses are more emotional. All right. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know. This is an emotional full moon for you. Taurus, um, what are we releasing? We're releasing the Four of Cups. So we're letting go of this rut we've been in. We're letting go of being in, a, you know, mild depression, I feel like, is the Four of Cups energy. But it's also about coming back into emotional balance, a period of coming back into balance. So you're letting go of this. You're releasing this. And Taurus, what is being revealed? Ace of Cups. So an emotional new beginning is being revealed. I love that. And for those of you who are single, Ace of Cups, hello. New love, new romance, but with what is being revealed, an emotional new beginning. And with the ninth house, um, it's very philosophical, it's spiritual. So if you've been in a rut, if you've been feeling kind of down, um, I think this bodes very well for you. That Ace of Cups is pretty awesome. 
All right, Taurus and Taurus rising and Taurus moon, please think of your yes, no, maybe question and let this little card from my very own yes, no, maybe deck be a little guidance or a little nudge, whichever, whatever. Oh my God, I got another maybe. I don't usually pull maybes. It's like pretty rare. <laughs> There aren't that many maybes in the deck. That's the second maybe. Things get weird with the eclipse. Um, so maybe with the energy of King of Swords. Maybe. King of Swords, you got to use your mind. You got to really think about it. Put thought into it. I would hold off or whatever. I You know, whatever your question is. I would like give it some time because... This full moon and the eclipse are going to bring in some answers, maybe. Maybe that'll, like, nudge you one way or another. Sorry, that was a maybe. The maybes are kind of like, wah, wah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't know. That's what came out. Another maybe for you? Oh, my God, Jean. Let me find out. That's interesting. You got to think about that one, huh? Let more info come in. Let more info come in. That's the vibe I'm getting. How interesting. Oh my goodness. Gemini, Gemini rising and um, Gemini moon. We're in the eighth house. Eighth house of transformation, rebirth sexuality house ruled by Scorpio Aries Sun Taurus rising wow Jean two maybes and I hardly ever call them maybes so that's like I guess it's like really take some time to think about that one wait and see I think there's more to it whatever it is Alright, settle down cards. Gemini, Gemini rising, this full moon eclipse in your eighth house. This is a new beginning for you. This is a rebirth. This is a transformation moon. It's a big one. So we're going to figure out what is um being released with the full moon and what is being revealed I'm still tripping that Jean got two maybes that's funny it's unusual I hardly ever pull maybes I always like want to because I'm like I'm really curious about the maybe cards but they don't come out much <laughs> So that's interesting for sure. All right. Gemini, Gemini rising, Gemini moon. What are we releasing? We're releasing the seven of cups. So releasing that feeling like, I don't know what to do. There's too many options. There's too much going on. Releasing that. We're going to make some choices. Okay. We're going to make some choices. And also releasing, if you haven't been having any options, you're going to get some. So, but with that right side up, it's almost like releasing indecision. What is being revealed? Knight of Cups. So, how we really feel... And emotionally moving forward, um, moving to a better place. Really getting into our feelings and coming into a good place emotionally. I love the Knight of Cups, especially in this deck. I mean, hello. Hello. <laughs> He's kind of goofy looking, but I love it. <laughs> I love the heart bubbles. Okay, bubbles. 
All right, Gemini, Gemini rising and Gemini moon. Yes, no, maybe question. Think of it and let this card be a little guidance for you. Just a little nudge. We got two yeses. So we got yes with the energy of strength. So yes. And it's a strong, like, it's strengthening. It brings you fortitude. <laughs> um, and yes, with the energies that three, yeah, energy of three of pentacles. So yes, and firm foundation there. Firm foundation and bodes well for any kind, if it's, like, anything to do with the pentacle realm, like, money, health, home, earthy stuff um then yeah definite yes so there you go and just to give you an idea of like how that played out by the way <laughs> with the yes no deck these were all the yeses and then just a couple no's and two of those no's were for one sign so really only three no's and two maybes so it's interesting interesting all right everyone i will put time stamps in there and i'm gonna try to do a blog i'm having trouble writing because my hands hurt so bad i'm having trouble typing and doing drawing stuff um so hopefully after this full moon the flare will die down and i'll be able to do some more typing but i'll probably Record some YouTube videos for like a little after moon check in and I'll share them here and I'll probably we'll do some more live videos and I don't know. It's my birthday week, so I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful full moon. I hope it's not too crazy. I hope that you all up your self-care, especially the spoonies in the group. Remember that full moon increases inflammation because it's when full and new moons are when the gravity gravitational pull is the strongest with the moon. That's just science. So um, I have been following that and paying attention to that for over a decade. And I can tell you that it is linked to inflammation and flare ups. So extra self care. If you are a spoonie or if you deal with inflammation of any kind, I love you all. I'm here. If you need me, if you want me to pull a few extra cards for you, I'll be around pretty much all day. I have some stuff in the evening, but that's it. I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.